stretch, and we have one last prize for you. Yep. Remember, it's a skill. Remember, it's a strategy. Make sure to drive. Make sure to drive. Nothing. Those games have both skill and strategy. You're racing in the city, going 100 miles per hour, blasting everything as you go. Speed, strategy, skill. Those games were awesome. Maybe back in your days, oh. sweetheart. But look, you name me one car combat game, one car combat game that was as good on PlayStation 1, <laughs> kicked ass on PlayStation 2, and, and kicked even more ass on PS3. The ultimate ass kicking. Name it. Uh, that's right, you can't do it because it doesn't exist. Now get back to work, punk. Oh, uh, I'm a punk. Don't kick my cat. <laughs> punk.
that in our rundown of the lap uh, city environment. Now this is a great level to show move off in because there's a lot of gameplay design philosophies to work here. We have low-lying levels that become huge skyscrapers that you can start from bottom, bottom of the ground, fight your way to the top and have rooftop combat. Uh, we've got a freeway system that connects the whole level together with the traffic. We've got low-lying slums. Uh, we've got a big junkyard with a huge battle section in the middle. And then we also have uh, these kind of rolling hills that kind of tie everything together in the center. Now this is a great level for straight up car combat, deathmatch, team deathmatch, variations in that mode that you'll be seeing. Uh, but it's great for you as well. Uh, now online, uh, this is all about factions fighting, fighting factions. And so in this uh, demo, we have the Sweet Tooth faction, the clowns inspired by Sweet Tooth right here, and Twisted Metal. And then we also have the dolls, uh, who are inspired by Dollface and Twisted Metal Black. And we'll have more factions to reveal throughout the year. Uh, as we talk about the game. Now, what's the goal of the uh, new goal? Well, we'll look up these, these giant statues being carried around by transport helicopters into guys in the faction leaders. And you basically have to destroy your faction statue before they destroy yours. But obviously, with the huge giant you know, metal monsters and how you do it, straight up weapons will take them out. Alright, so if you look at the rooftops, you'll notice uh, a couple of the faction leaders. Here's Sweet Tooth, who's banning his gun turret. And across the map on the other side, we also have Dollface over here, and she's manning her turn too. And the goal of this mode is to capture the faction leader. And this is where team play begins to come into it, where basically if you run in and try to kill the grapple leader, you're going to lose a lot of health. So your buddy's in instead, and you up the forces and the defenses, and then you're able to go in, as we'll see in a second, and grab the leader. And so now that you've got, in this case, Sweet Tooth being dragged behind your car, uh, what do you do with this guy? So, if you look around the level, you'll notice this uh, missile launcher right here. Jeez. And uh, each faction has their own missile launcher. And so there's this perimeter you see, this yellow ring. If you can bring the faction leader in the yellow ring in the perimeter and keep them there long enough, uh, you will begin to see the charge up and bring the missile launcher to fight. Now, teamwork again is crucial because if you lose the faction leader in that perimeter, like capture the flag and he spawns back to base and you gotta go back and do it again. So if you get a buddy that puts up on top of the skyscraper with a sniper rifle, uh, it's really effective in bringing, uh, taking down the enemy. You can also send in vehicles that are really, really strong, like the motorcycles that have flaming awesome. chainsaws. They can take out bad guys in two or three hits. So in this case, we've charged on the missile launcher because we kept the guy, we kept the leader in there long enough. And now all that's left to do is basically sacrifice the leader to the missile launcher and you will earn your faction in this event. Here you go. <laughs> now he's in. And now you've earned the missile. Now what's left to do is you and your team have to guide that missile and protect it from helicopters and a variety of other attacks in the end of the statue. And the first team to uh, get the end of the statue three times will win the uh, to the faction. So that's uh, our new mode. We're really excited to meet you.